they should not impose on us. For a period spanning a year, the Ministry of Ethics and Integrity, led by Minister Simon Rokodo, and a secret team of MPs have held meetings under a cloak of secrecy. Homosexuality is not just against our beliefs, it's against humanity. What was bubbling before the radar has now come to surface as plans are underway to reintroduce the anti-homosexuality bill in Parliament. Both Rokodo and Insababuturo spoke glowingly about the reintroduction of the bill. That on the day of second reading, when the debate is done, let everybody be around so that you can, you know, massively overwhelm, overwhelm the speaker and they don't use again the, the excuse of no quorum. Now we're saying anything like recruitment, promotion, exhibition, don't amount to, 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 to committing a crime against that law. In 2013, Parliament enacted a law against homosexuality, which the President later assented to. But in 2014, the Constitutional Court struck it down on grounds that it was passed without the requisite quorum. This came on the heels of a flag from the Western powers, who threatened to cut aid to Uganda. So why is the bill being reintroduced? There is a plausible theory that the bill is part of a well-orchestrated plot to target the opposition politicians who receive funding from the gay lobby groups. But this could as well serve as a double-edged sword, with the West showing signs of fatigue, with their East well ally in the volatile Great Lakes region and a proxy in the fight against terrorism in the Horn of Africa enclave. There are those who believe that the bill could turn the regime into a pariah. Several MPs expressed their views about the bill. Homosexuality is bad, it's uncalled for, and unspiritual. You have never seen a he-god mounting a he-god, or a cock mounting a cock. And as the August House prepares to debate this controversial bill, gay lobby groups are seeking to raise the 1.5 million signatures online to sway opinion in favor of shelving the bill. Hubbard Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.